Hi there! This video is about on how to get a handicap parking permit in Arizona. Here are the key points on how to get a handicap parking permit in Arizona. Eligibility How to obtain a permit Permit fee Validity slash expiration of permits Renewals Lost, stolen, or damaged placards Where to hang the placard Who's eligible? A person is eligible to receive a disabled parking placard if he slash she cannot walk 200 feet at length without stopping to rest, utilizes portable oxygen, has a class three or class four cardiac condition, suffers from an arthritic, neurological, or orthopedic condition that severely limits his slash her ability to walk, has a severe audio handicap, suffers from a lung disease that is restrictive to the extent that the arterial oxygen tension is less than 60 mm slash HG at rest, or when the forced expiratory volume for one second is less than one liter when measured through spirometry, cannot move without an assisting device, such as a brace, crutch, cane, wheelchair, prosthetic device, another person, etc., or uses portable oxygen, an organization is eligible to receive a disabled parking placard if the registered vehicle owned or leased by the organization, and that will display the placard or the international symbol of access special plates primarily transports physically disabled persons. Trailers are not eligible for permits. How to obtain a permit. The applicant must file a disability hearing impaired plate slash placard application form Form 960104. The application form can be obtained online. Don't forget to visit the application website by clicking the link provided in the video description below. Placard fee. According to SS 28-2409, the Transportation Department shall issue placards at no additional charge. Validity slash expiration of placards slash permits. Permanent disability placards are valid for five years, and temporary disability placards are valid for six months. In both cases, the medical certification must remain valid for the respective time frame. If the medical condition continues at the end of the six months, a new application is required for renewal of the placard. Renewing your permit slash placard. Permanent placard owners must complete and sign a renewal certification the placard renewal slash replacement request in the presence of a notary or NVD agent. Temporary placard owners must submit a new application if their disability continues beyond the expiration of the placard. Lost placard slash replacement. Lost, stolen, or damaged placards can be replaced at no cost to the eligible applicant. The applicant must, however, submit a placard renewal slash replacement request form Form 40112, available online. Where to hang the placard slash permit. The placard must be displayed on the rearview mirror when the vehicle is stationary but removed when the vehicle is in motion. This information is brought to you by Mobility Bathworks, helping people live with dignity and pride one person at a time.